everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? So good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is to present my tear tray challenge video. I am so excited that today is finally here, you guys. Uh, as you know, I will have a playlist in the description of everyone who's posted and who have, you know, all the creators who have joined us in this video. And of course, second in the list will be you guys, your, your subscribers video. Oh my goodness, you guys, the pictures you've sent me are absolutely beautiful. Again, you guys have gone above and beyond. You guys are doing an awesome job with these challenges and I am humbled and touched that you're entrusting your pictures with me to put in a video to show everybody. I am proud to put that video out for you guys to show everybody what you guys have been up to, I'm telling you. So I'm not gonna take a, a ton of time in my video here. I am gonna take the camera off of the tripod here and I'm gonna show you all of my parts and pieces. And then I will put together my uh, tray, but it's going to be a little quicker than you might think. I'm going to do it in fast motion for you guys to some zippy music. <laughs> and then I'll come back for some final words. But I'm really excited to work with this three-tiered tray. This is the first time that I will be doing anything with this one. I got this at Hobby Lobby. Goodness gracious, you guys, back in the summertime, I think. And so I'm really looking forward to doing this wrought iron tray. As you know, I have a lot of wrought iron accent pieces in my home, and this will go right along with that. So anyway, uh, all right, I think that's it. Uh, the three rules for this challenge were to use a tray. It did not have to be a tiered tray, although we called it a tiered challenge, but we did not want to take those people out of the mix who might just have one tray. But that was one of the stipulations, a tray. Uh, then florals of some of some sort and then a figurine uh, uh, or a plaque or both I'll be using both <laughs> so those are the three rules so here we go let me turn this camera around and I'm gonna show you first like I said I'm gonna show you all of my parts and pieces and, then, and you guys are gonna see this thing come together pretty quick <laughs> then I'll be back for some final words all right be right back Okie dokie guys, I'm back and here's my island. And as you can see, it's kind of covered with stuff right now. I'm gonna move on in and show you a closer look at what I've collected here. Some of this I've purchased, some of it I've had for years and years and I'll tell you what's what. Over here, I have two leaf garlands that I'm gonna be cutting and we'll go, a little piece will go on each shelf. I also have some little pumpkins that I might be adding in here and there. And I've got some florals, just some, you know, little floral picks that pull out the colors of the, as you can see, that pull out the colors of the garlands. And then I have some signs over here, I have other signs over there, but these are just some extra ones I had. I just sat over here just in case. And as well with my soul, our family, is a circle of strength and love together forever. Friends make life sweeter. And be still. Be still and know. 40, uh, Psalm 46:10. And that one. You think I, I like that saying, huh? Be still and know. One of my favorites. Anyway, I have those. I don't know whether I'll I'll use any of those or not. But then as we move over here, We have a welcome autumn. I have two welcome autumn signs. I'll put one on the top and one on the bottom. And then I have a fall in love, which I thought was really pretty. Kind of looks the same as those. And then there's my little salt and pepper shaker <laughs> that Amanda gave me, one of my subscribers. Got that in my P.O. box, I love it. Little squirrel, couple of, I, don't, I can't remember where I got the squirrel. I think I got him from Hobby Lobby. I got him from Hobby Lobby. And these two fellas I got from the Dollar Tree. Little bobblehead owls. And I got my three little angels. I got those from 
Hobby Lobby 2. The little owl, he's a beanbag owl. And then three pumpkins. And then I have this, this is actually, uh, it's, a, it's like a clay, clay, this thing is years and years and years old. Anyway, so those are all the parts and pieces that I'm gonna be using for this, my tiered tray. So I'm gonna get started. Be right back when I get my camera in place and we'll get creating. fast motion there in reality it's taken me over a half an hour to do this just because I keep picking at it I used every bit of what I had here on the counter except for some of those little plaques I just couldn't fit in all of the little the little scriptures and stuff I got some of them in here but not all of them what I'm gonna do next, after I say my final words here, is take the camera off of here and I'm gonna set my counter up the way it's gonna look and then I'm gonna take you, give you a 360 of this thing, really up close, you know. I might do that first and then set the counter up and, you know, take a video like that, but I'll talk you through all that, so. But uh, thank y'all so much for coming for this. This has been a blast. I have really enjoyed doing this. This wrought iron tray is just, it's really given me quite a nice tool to work with throughout the seasons. This will become one of my staple pieces for a while here and I'll redo it for each season as it passes. And I'm excited to be able to do that with this because this really gets the creative juices flowing and it's just so much fun to do. So I hope you all have enjoyed this challenge and I know I have, I know I really enjoy doing this one. This is fun, so. Let me just say here, before I take the, my phone off of the tripod and bring it over here and show this thing to you, let me just say that I hope, let me move a little closer to you so I can a little bit closer here and look at you in the eyes. I let me just say that for those of you who are struggling to get through each day with a catastrophic illness or with chronic pain, I do absolutely keep you in my thoughts and my prayers each day and I hope my, one of my major wishes for you is that you have somebody there with you and that you're not alone as you go through this. Somebody there with you, loving you, taking care of you through this difficult, difficult time. I hope there's nothing weighing on your mind or on your heart, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits and hugs all around. And remember, in crafting, there are no mistakes, only unique, and this is really unique, <laughs> creations. I'll be right back behind the camera, but I'll just say right here, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Be right back. Okay, I'm gonna start at the top here, and I'm gonna kinda work my way down each side and then I'll turn it a little bit and we'll continue this action until we get all the way around and let you see everything that I put in here. There's a lot, whoops, I got put upside down. <laughs> there's
There's a lot to look at in here, but that's the point of this. I wanted it to be a, you know, something that you can look at from all sides and to give your eyes something to gaze upon no matter which direction you're looking from. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I'll tell you, the, as you saw me doing probably in the fast motion there, whatever of the leaf garland I didn't use just to go around for the first kind of layer, I cut up the, the leaves and I pulled them through the rungs like that. I pulled them through there and uh, filled it out on the sides. I think one more turn should do it here. Super duper happy. There's my favorite, one of my favorite plaques. Let your faith be bigger than your fears. That is the hardest thing, isn't it, you guys? To have faith that everything's going to be okay. And to put it in his hands and let him take care of it. That's the hardest thing sometimes. But anyway, there's my three-tier tray. And I'm going to set up my counter here the way it's going to look for the fall months and I'll be right back and take one more little video for you to show you the finished product. All right, be right back. Okie dokie everybody, here we are. And there is my three-tiered tray right there on my island. Excuse, the rest of my kitchen is not the neatest, but <laughs> I thought I would go ahead and give you, you know, the all overview of things. I do not decorate above my cabinets right yet. I don't know whether I ever will. <laughs> that would be a lot, but as if I don't do enough now, you know. <laughs> but anyway, I'm really happy with how this worked out. I'm just thrilled. And when I did, I will say that when I went to buy all of the leaves and all of the little accent pieces, except for the salt and pepper shaker, of course they were sent to me. But I did keep in mind this table runner, and I think you'll see that I didn't do too bad when it came to matching the table runner, the candlesticks, and the candles even. And I didn't put anything around, I didn't use any kind of candle ring around the candlesticks. I did that by design. I wanted the three-tier tray to speak for itself, and I didn't want any distractions, so to speak, on either side. Let me zip around the counter here, the island, not too quickly, but uh, again, from every side, there's something to look at. Hopefully it's a party for your eyes, no matter which way <laughs> you look at this. Ah, I am very happy with how this worked out, you guys. But anyway, that's it for this one. Next week will be our Lantern Centerpiece Challenge. I can't wait for that one either. Be looking for my reminder. I don't know, sometime this week, maybe Friday morning <laughs> for that. But until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.